Hi, it's Jim, the IO Tesla guy. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing a wireless charger for your Tesla made by Magback. They were kind enough to send me a review unit. I wasn't aware of them, but oh man, is this thing super cool. In fact, it's so cool, it is probably the most minimalist Tesla experience in a phone charger you're going to find, and it looks like this. And I'm excited to show you what this thing can do. Now, when taking a look at this charger out of the box, the first thing that impressed me was its weight and its look. This thing is made out of aluminum. It's 77 grams. That seems light, but it's actually got a really good hefty feel to it. And it's got a really good durable rubber front to it for which to attach your phone. And what's also super cool is that this thing looks exactly like your screen. Same color, same texture, and the mount for it is designed to perfectly fit the contour of your Model 3 and Model Y screen. It uses USB-C to connect, and it does come with a 12 volt to USB-C charger as well. All right, here's the charger, and here's a screen and the first thing we're going to do is get the screen make sure it's all clean and you can just do a chest fit here and you can see that it will hook up something like this from the back and it should look like something like this from the front and it uh the rubber fits in really well with the edge of the screen and once it's secured hopefully it will work out really well let's give it a try Get this thing cleaned off, just an alcohol pad. Give it a second to air dry. This is our charger and in here is some 3M tape and there's a little tab you're gonna peel off and we're going to then secure this to the back of the screen. The Magback uh, recommends that you start from an angle and they've got a great tutorial on their website on how to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. And we're just gonna let the contour of the screen be our guide here, starting from the edge. All right, it says to give good pressure uh, for the 3M tape to adhere, um, about 30 seconds. All right, the charger is installed and your first thing you wanna do is see how well it holds your phone. Resist that urge because you need to let that tape really adhere and the manufacturer recommends that you wait five minutes before doing anything else. So. Resist the urge, wait five minutes. All right, it has been five minutes. I haven't done anything with the cord yet, but I want to test to see how well I can stick my phone to this charger and how well does it hold. So I'm going to do three different ways of doing this. And the manufacturer says this is a MagSafe compatible device, which means if you've got an iPhone 12 or 13 that has the MagSafe charging in it, like I do, you should be able without the uh, screen, without the cover, uh, to put it on your phone. And I also have a MagSafe cover that uh, is just a cheap one off of Amazon, and we're gonna see how well it works with that. And we're going to see how well it works with this, which is a MagBack case. And this particular case does some cool extra stuff, which we'll get to in a minute. Locks in the vertical orientation, and I can position it in the horizontal if I want. It does seem to want to find a center line here. All right, test number two is going to be with the MagSafe clear case that I bought off of Amazon. We'll see how well that works. All right, here we go. And it locks in. Seems to be pretty sturdy. Can we mount it horizontally? You can. Feels pretty good, not quite as tight. It definitely feels better in a vertical orientation, at least from how much it is grabbing onto it. And you can also notice that if you're horizontal, if you have ways or, or something up like that, um, it does block the speedometer of the car. I think I want to point out with the phone in this particular position that from where I'm sitting, from a driver's side perspective, the placement of that particular phone is almost perfect. 
I do not need to take my eyes off the road hardly at all to see that phone. And what's also cool is that it appears that it's in a perfect position where I can go ahead and wake up the phone and swipe through Face ID. And I didn't need to just, I didn't even need to move my face and it, and it went right into Face ID. Now, the last test we're going to do with this in before we plug it in and see how well it charges is I'm going to test my phone with this case that uh, Magback sent me. And what makes this case special on the outside, it really doesn't look like much. It's a, it's a silicone case. It, it fits well. It comes in multiple colors. But inside this thing are a series of magnets. And what's cool is it comes in the box with something else that you don't normally find with a case. It comes with two of these, and these are little magnets with 3M tape that you could literally stick anywhere because they lock in on the back of the case because the case has magnets in it, and they're actually pretty powerful. Um, so if you want to use this outside your car, um, it'll even stick to your refrigerator uh, really, really strongly. But how well does it work with this uh, charger? Let's, let's see. All right, here we go. Oh, that locks in. I can tell because there's magnets now on both sides. This is the best fit of them all. So if you want, if you're any sort of bumpy driving or anything like that, the Magback case actually grabs really, really tightly. And it, I can tell it grabs tightly in both orientations really well. Um, comes off really nice. Just pull it and you're done. So let's see how well it charges. Right, we are plugged in, let's mount the phone. And we are charging, just like that. And will it charge horizontally? Yes, it's charging horizontally. As far as cable management is concerned, you really have a couple of choices. You can go back to the auxiliary, which is in the center console here, or actually it works just fine plugged in in a USB-C port up front. So if you just want to tuck the wire down underneath your charging pad, I have a 2020 uh, Model Y, so as the original front center console. It's a little easier to get to. Um, but there are a couple of methods. You can take the wire, you can kind of tuck it in under the skirt. Uh, the website uh, actually has a really good video that shows you uh, that in demonstration. And once plugged in, out of sight, out of mind, you're good to go. Just Take your phone, throw it on the charger, and it sticks on, stays where it needs to be, and overall, I'm impressed. All right, this wouldn't be a real test without putting it in an actual drive, and I am here driving, and we're going to go ahead and throw it in FSD beta and see how well it actually holds. And I can tell you right now, just through normal driving, this thing is rock solid. Overall, I am super impressed with this product. The build quality is superb. The integration into the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y screen looks like it came from the factory. The magnet works really, really well for holding onto your phone for the MagSafe in your iPhone or a MagSafe case, or if you want to kick it up a notch, you can use the MagBack case as well. And that case also allows you to stick your phone to any other metal surface, which is super cool. The Qi charging gives you 10 watts of power charging while you're plugged in, and it holds the phone perfectly in vertical and landscape orientation. Great position, perfect position for when you're getting a phone call, you need to unlock your phone with Face ID, and also works great for a FaceTime or video call if you need it. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself, I would highly recommend it. This thing is super cool. You can get one by following the link below, and even better, use Iowa Tesla Guy 15 at checkout to save 15% on your order. So that's all I have for you today. So if you like this video, I would appreciate hitting that like. Even better, hit that subscribe button. Subscriptions really help drive the channel and we put out content all the time. Hit that bell icon if you wanna be notified when a new video comes out. So until the next video, until the next review, until the next road trip, we'll catch you later. Mm -hmm.